Welcome to iBleach. Welcome to iBleach episode... Fall 2015. Yes, fall 2015. Number ep three. Episode 3.4. Four. Four. Three, four. Three, four. Because... I like that system. It makes it smart. That's why I came up with it. It does make it smart. You're welcome, Brian. Oh, hey, thanks. Today we're going to be watching Sakurako Sendo Ashimoto. A.K.A. Okay, beautiful Bones Investigations by Sakurako's... Yes, a.k.a. Beautiful Bones, Sakuraka's Investigation. Yeah. And we're going to be watching Concrete Revolution, which is a show... About burping. We're going to... Without any further ado, Chaucerian uh, monologues, we're going to get right into it. We're going to start this week with Sammy's pick. We're doing the Canterbury Tales? I mean, I love the Canterbury Tales. I love really? Chaucer. Yeah, Chaucer's great. His writing oh. is funny as shit. I didn't know that about you. Most people don't know a lot of things about me. We're gonna watch Beautiful Bones. Every five seconds. Sakuraka's investigation. <laughs> what a stupid question, Sammy. <laughs> Let's get down to business to defeat <laughs> Olivia Munn. Why? Ooh. That doesn't look Whoa. great. That looks like weird VR. I wish I was an anime character. You can't reach that tree, dumbass. It's way up in the air. <laughs> what a fucking moron. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know a fry man. <laughs> yeah, meat man. Cause you know she wants the bone. Come on. <laughs> okay. You should, you should do Carl. Adam does a better Carl than I ever could. If you ever meet my little brother, ask him to do his Carl impersonation. I've never seen an anime character whistle before. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not like actually whistle, like someone who whistles. Oh shit, she activated her Bankai. Yo, she just activated pretty. the dopest Bankai ever. Did he just pepper spray her? No, air freshener. He just maces her with fucking freshener. He febrezed her. So let's talk about Beautiful Bones, uh, Sakuraka's investigation. 3D first person perspective. Oh, I didn't hate it. I thought it was it wasn't as well done as it could have been. If it was properly executed, it would have been stunning. But it was really ambitious, so I'll give them props for trying. He's <laughs> walking through fucking yeah. it's like, oh my god, this is so unnecessary. Yeah, I struggled with their relationship. I thought it was pretty. I thought the art style was well done. I liked the character design. I thought it was cool, but the relationship between the grown-ass woman with fiancé, who's like brilliant at forensics and is interested in cool things, and a high school boy. The kid wants to become some sort of investigator or forensic scientist or whatever, and she he knows her fiancé or something like that. The fiancé male type is like, okay, well my <laughs> Wife-to-be is super smart and a great forensic person, so why don't you go hang out with her? And she's like, I don't want to fucking hang out with this kid. And uh, then he's like, listen, just do this for me, you know, as yeah. a favor. And so now they're together, but they don't really get along as much as they... And she's... She's, like, weirdly creepy on but him. But she's like, she's, like, teasing him because he's, like, a kid. kid. Yeah, and he's, he's like, you're an asshole. Uh, we're going to watch Concrete Revolution. Are we? Yes. Funimation. That's too low. Be watching. That's no. too low. Ooh, it's so pretty! It's too low. It's not. Oh, he's cute. He's like, um, Tet from... He's an animal. He's an animorph. Ooh. He's an animorph. He's Beast Boy mixed with Tet from, uh... Animorphs? No, Tet from he's... No Game No Life. No, he's Tobias from Animorph. The character design reminds me kind of Soul Eater a little. I love the like giant the robots. I like her! Purple star hair eyes. makes star face. Look, there's Pumpkin Jack. <laughs> the old man's like, yo, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yay! Oh, she's like a magic girl. girl. Oh. It's an Ultraman villain. <laughs> Ooh. Aztec god. And then she flew away on whatever that is. Her flying Segway. It's like what's happening is the story, there's like the story The story's of, catching up with itself. Yeah, so it's yeah. like there's the part of the main story we've seen which is in the beginning and then we see how it wraps up at the end. Well, not the end, the middle. Back. 
We're seeing the beginning and the middle. Yeah. And they're gonna meet at the middle, and then the story will progress from there. Is that weird. it. That outro is really cool. I think it's a cool show. Yeah, it's weird. It's it it weird. definitely shares a lot with Blood Blockade in <laughs> yeah. terms of like storytelling style, but I think that and it's very interesting. And also art style. The art style of Blood Blockade is done by the guy who did Trigun, and it has its own unique take. Old school giant robot style animation, like the characters and the aliens and stuff are all very old school, uh, 70s. Uh, they, they're wearing 70s style clothing. You know, he's got like a suit on that's very uh, James Bondy from that time period. I don't know about this. He's got a lot of references. That's... It's, I mean, it's filled with references. This yeah. whole show is one sick reference meme. So, Sammy is gonna write in the comments, bones for bone, bone, bones, and I'm gonna write, and I'm gonna write, concrete revolution. And then you vote. Vote you for which one you up. like. Give us thumbs up on the ones you like. Leave a comment. Let us know what you th your thoughts on these anime yeah, are. Yeah, tell us. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you thought of the stuff, and then you tell us why. If you like the channel, as always, please subscribe, like, share it with your friends, share it with your moms. If your mom's a single, share your moms. Uh, tweet us. Tweet at us. Tweet us pictures of your mom. Holla. At hashtag Lubu and my mom are dating. Please check Lubu. out our other shows. I do the cooking show with Lubu. We do the Gasm uh, shows. We do Rivals. We do Barrel Turkey. We do... We got a new show followers coming out soon. We also have... Um, a bunch of different short films. Short films and trailers and stuff we do for clients. There's lots of good stuff over on that channel. You should check it out. Yeah. We hope you have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, whatever holiday you celebrate. Happy winter times. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. Fare thee well. One Punch Man. Ow. It's the story of a man. Who punches things. Who once. punches things. But only once. Because that's all he needs. You'll get it.